one of the habits that I developed when I moved down here is the morning walk. I also um, hike on the weekends and bicycle when I'm back in Michigan. So overall, a very active 65-year-old. It was on those morning walks that I began to experience some symptoms that disturbed me. I started to feel a pressure in my chest, nothing sharp, but more like a weight where I just wanted to to push on it, push back on it. Um, I also had some sharper pain um, and ache in my upper back, just around my shoulder blades. And then as it went on, I noticed that the two miles seemed longer and longer <laughs> to me. I was very fatigued. But as soon as I stopped exercising, the symptoms went away and I felt fine. You have a 95% blockage, a widow maker, and you have a 100% blockage on the other side. So they didn't even give me an option. They put me in an ambulance and sent me to Erlanger. And um, so I came in and they assigned me to Dr. Shears. The preparation was really good. There's a packet of information that they gave me that told me about the procedure, what to expect. It was so thorough. I really didn't have very many questions for Dr. Shears at all. One question I had was about recovery. And I was told you will be able to do everything that you were able to do before your surgery. So that was really good news. The other information that Dr. Shears gave me that was so helpful, um, first of all, the rest of my heart was great. He said the, the other arteries <laughs> looked good and there was no damage whatsoever to my heart muscle. I haven't had a heart attack. So I feel that it was very much, um, you know, God watching over me. The, the nurses were um, teaching each other, showing each other little tricks as they were getting me prepped, you know, knowledge sharing. This is a teaching hospital. And I saw it in many, many of the interactions that I had. Um, woke up from surgery. I walked from the intensive care unit to the cardiac step down unit. That was crazy to me <laughs> that here I had just had open heart surgery and I was, I was up and walking. Then the whole team just got together to get me moving again. I had the physical therapy people coming and walking me with, I think I would call it, it's like the Queen Mary of walkers. It's that walker that's made of PVC pipe. <laughs> and I would go sailing slowly down the hall with my entourage. Um, you know, they taught me to climb steps again, how to do things safely, getting in and out of bed. Um, and the nurses, I never lacked for anything. If I pushed the button, people were there to help me. Even the uh, people who cleaned my room and the people who delivered my meals were upbeat, cheerful. I felt very cared for and very safe. Whenever I had any questions um, for Dr. Shear's team, they were there. They were available. They explained it in terms I could understand. Pretty soon, I was able to ditch the walker, 
I used my hiking poles a couple times, but after that, I was I was um, back um, walking slowly, increasing day by day.